And today from the big box, we have a Death Star 2 pack. Let's see if this open from the top, maybe? Yes? Yeah, there we go. I love opening Death Star 2. Pretty much all the later packs are really fun to open. And I think the rare is in the middle somewhere. All right, we have superficial damage effect. Deploy on table each turn one of your characters, vehicles, and starships may forfeit one of its weapons, except a lightsaber using forfeit value of three. Also, your forfeited weapons go to use pile, I mean to alter. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> And then we have Home 1 Docking Bay. Docking Bay Transit from here is free. You occupy opponent may not move to the site. And Dark Side Reads Transit is 7 force. And then to move 2 is plus 9 force. Wow. Probably not going to be going there. And then we have an Aquarius. If you control with the Starfighter, opponent's Dreadnought class cruisers are deployed plus 3. And your force generation here is plus three. Dark side doesn't have any text. Then we have a green squadron pilot. Deploy power and ability all two. Forfeit three. Has two to power of anything you pilot. So when piloting an A-wing, draws one battle destiny if not able to otherwise. And it's forfeit plus two. Dang, that's some good value. And then we have a combat response. It's an effect. Deploying table during your deploy phase, you may reveal one unpiloted starfighter from hand to take its matching pilot character from reserve deck, or vice versa, and deploy both simultaneously. Reshuffle a mean to alter. Dang, that's a powerful card. Then we have uh, inconsequential losses. It's an effect. Deploying table each turn, each of your characters, vehicles, and starships may forfeit one of the weapons. Oh yeah, this is like I guess the dark side version, unless we had. Yeah, okay, it's the dark side version. The other one was superficial damage. And then we have something special planned for them. As an effect, a plan table for opponent to move a starship from same location as your star destroyer requires plus two force. Also, when an opponent has just retrieved force using an interrupt or utini effect, that card is placed out of play, immune to alter. And this looks like the rare, one of the Admiral Orders battle deployment. At each system where any player does not have both a starfighter and a capital starship present, that player's starships there are power negative two. At sites related to systems you occupy, during each battle, opponent may draw no more than one battle destiny. Once during each of your deploy phases, you may deploy one combat vehicle from your reserve deck. Reshuffle. Wow. That seems really good. These are really cool looking cards too, the Admiral's Orders. And then we have a DS-1813. Power and ability... Oh, power one, ability to deploy one, forfeit two. It's two to power of anything you pilots. When piloting Saber three, draws one battle destiny if not able to. Otherwise, opponent may not react to same system or sector. And then we have a Corporal Marmor. Deploy of three, forfeit four. Power three, ability two. Reduces X by three on docking and repair facilities when a star cruiser is held there. When he is deployed at a docking bay where you have just deployed a starfighter, once per turn you may retrieve one force. I huh. always like force retrieval. And then you have a Colonel Psalm. Forfeit for deploy power and ability 2. Adds 2 to power of anything he pilots. When he is piloting a Y-Wing, once per battle you may cancel and redraw your battle destiny just drawn. While he occupies the Renegade system, Imperial control is flipped and Imperial occupation may not be flipped. All right, let's put in our sleeve, our rare. Uh, I gotta open the pack up. I had some laying out, but all right, there we go. But that is it for Death Star 2 pack. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.